Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Le Plata where we finally declared war on the mighty nations of the Canadians and the British and everyone. We just, you know, finally did it. We, we finally, you know, just snapped. We finally had enough of the British-American war and the British, you know, suffice to say they finally got us into this war and... I'm glad they did because it's time for us to go and go kick some major like army men. But let's see, you guys are at war with basically everyone. <laughs> Have fun with that. So yeah, we are basically gonna go going to go attack a lot of different places. And hopefully my vassals, the war is upon us! Yay! Hopefully we won't die too horribly or my Indian at vassals. Wow, you guys are dying really horribly. Luckily, you guys are my vassal too, so. And it's a good thing you guys will be cut down to size a little bit, because I don't want you guys to become too big. But, yeah. It seems like we're now at war with even a bigger state than I expected. Um, they're moving in with tanks, like, literally, legitly quickly. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to save my African friends, but... Ooh, it's gonna be hard. Okay. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like, they get tanks, but I don't get tanks. Okay. And let's see. We have no attacks over here. I'm gonna go use this army to go crush these British soldiers. We can basically take out most of the British army. You know, we're gonna do some island hoppy, defeat most of the British around here, and take it from there. We can, my vassals will be able to defeat most of the ships around this area, which is gonna be nice. Um, we're gonna have to mount some attack formations to try to go against the British. What I might do is go send a suicide force to go check out the. Uh, well, oh, Scandinavia, you're in this war too? Huh. Okay. That's interesting. So, we have literally as many people as we can get in this war right now. So, literally, we are all fighting this, trying to stop the British from expanding. Well, I love this. <laughs> like, I'm not against this. This is actually pretty cool. If we can stop the British from expanding, that'd be nice. But the only chance we actually have is... What are you guys at war? Sure, yeah, I'll join that. Yay, white piece. Okay, um, I have to. We had to start figuring out how much it would take to actually land troops and coordinate an attack. Let's see. We have our transports here. Gonna go save our little troops over here. And let's see, because I, I basically associate my African provinces are gonna die. We're gonna go take over Jamaica because we can take over Jamaica. And we're basically going to do a prolonged attack to try to start getting the British slowly but surely out of different areas. And right now we have a couple different theaters of war. We have, because this is basically a world war. We have the American theater, which we have to, we have to secure very quickly. We have to make sure there are no more British ships right next to our coastline. And we basically control this area by force. Okay. Next what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go directly to the, Brit the Britannian Empire Theater. Hopefully we'll be able to control this area, but most likely not because we have a 62 ships right, literally right there off the port. Maybe the Scandinavians will be able to deal with that, but probably not. And then... We also have technically, I guess, a theater over, over here in Asia, but... Um, my, my vassals kind of got overwhelmed in almost the quickest succession of war I've ever seen in my life. They don't look like they're going to live very long, but at least they actually tried, and I am very proud of them for trying. Okay, I'll give them that. Okay, but let's see, we have the Archer Liberals back in power, that's good, that means we have a good bonus to our economy. And, let's see, we're going to soon be able to start producing our tanks, which is going to make me so manly happy that I can't even say it. Okay, we're getting our troops right on to Jamaica. Uh, yeah, we basically control the Caribbean right now, which is good. We're going to get our troops onto Jamaica, conquer Jamaica, that way we have a little bit more of a foothold. And we have to start canceling out the amount of reach the British have on us. Seriously, we can't make, we can't get them anywhere closer to us anymore. Let's see, we're going to be, my Colombian viewers are going to, well not Colombian viewers, the Colombians are going to invade that place over there, so that's going to cancel out them. Um, let's see, you guys get on your ships again. Okay, we're just going to go kill off all of the British troops around the Caribbean. Or British outposts, I should say, around the Caribbean. And 
and sending my armies everywhere to go protect myself, attack. And let's see, do we have any British troops already landed on our borders? Because we can fight British troops. Our army's big enough, but I preferably don't want to. Holy moly. How many, how many men do we have right there? What the heck? Okay, nah, nah. Oh, it's only two, okay. I was like, what the heck? That's a lot of men. Okay, as we can see, American troops, American ships are already starting to get a little bit more daring and getting more and more out of their ports, which is what we need to do. We need to make America start getting out of their ports because, let's see, ledger-wise, let's see, who has the biggest ships? Um, Japan, the United States. The United States has bigger ships than, than the British do. The British only have 72 ships, which actually, where's that 62 ships? It's right over here. If 62 ships, that's the biggest they have. Um, they also have 108 men on the main. Dang it. This was going to be my main attack force, but apparently they actually have an army over here. That kind of stinks. Okay. Um, okay, so a mainland invasion's going to be harder than we thought. That's all that means. Okay. You guys get off of the main continent. Go send our ships back over here. Okay. And... I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade all of our naval bases in time, but if we can get some of them, I'd love to build some Dreadnoughts. Gemnauts would be really nice. Okay, let's see. We're going to go invade some more of these islands over here off the coast. Get more of this underneath our control. Because like I said, if the British actually have a good, decent army in Ireland, Ireland was going to be my kind of sneaky attack if I could get that. But since they actually have a decent amount of troops there, it's going to be really hard to fight this war. <laughs> But we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to try to at least corner some of these men and start getting America to try to take more risk and go attack the uh, British more directly. Because if they can destroy their navy, then the, then the British become a, basically a vessel of their power. Plus, if we can like take over like places like, is New Zealand in this? Yeah, if we can take over places like New Zealand, then we're basically golden. America somehow is losing to Malaysia. I don't understand how that's happening, but I'll accept it because... Where the things have happened. You guys are completely crushed. My Indian vassals are completely crushed. But good thing about this is that there'll be lots of rebellions, which is what we need. Okay. And let's see. I'm gonna keep an army over here because I feel like I'm gonna get revolted a lot. Like a lot. Like not just a little, but a lot a lot. Okay. I'm sending my troops, my 13 transports are coming back, completely leaving Africa to its own demise. Maybe I'll go fight Africa in a couple years, but it's basically gone. Let's see. Scandinavia basically has an army. Uh, Russia? Germany? Oh, wow. So, Germ are you guys are... No. Germany and Austria are at war with each other. This is going to be... That's a very interesting war right there. The fascists versus the Soviets. I'm glad they're going against each other right now. Because that makes it way, way, way less about me right now. I'm glad they're not allies, because that makes it much easier for me to go kick their butt in the future. Okay, you guys get back on the ships. You know what, actually it's much quicker. What am I doing? It's much quicker to do this. Go right here. Boom. Wait. Boom. And get on the ships, and then go right here. Yes. We're just trying to... We're just trying to slowly start to kill off all of their connections that they have to this land. Which we are slowly starting to do. And let's see, my vassals took out the rest of the Guatemalan uh, people. I'm pretty sure we can't add any war goals, because otherwise it would help. Oh, I can? Okay. Okay, install democracy. No, no, no. I'm going to add a war goal, that way we can start getting war score. Let's see. Let's see, what region is this? It's the uh, Ghana region. Okay. Add a, war, add a war score of a choir place. Is it, is it Ghana, Ghana, British Jumbia? North Cape. You know, we can actually get a lot out of this now that I'm looking at it. Uh, British. Kenya. Lower Madagascar. No. Uh, we're distant. Okay. Click on it. Does it count as a state? Okay. It tends to count as a colonial province. Okay. Alright. So. Let's see. Place under the sun. Okay. So we're going to have to find it very carefully. There it is. British Ghana. I'm going to take the infamy here because we need to start with war score. If we can start getting war score against these guys, that means we automatically have a couple different, you know, things being added to us every single day, which is exactly what we need. So that then they can't just sit back and be like, oh, yes, we're awesome people because we have 
you know, this advancements and so and so and yada 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 yada. You guys, you guys get my drift. We basically can't let them do that. We basically have to make them start feeling the pressure of our military might. And let's see. And we should always start gaining war score from this pretty damn, pretty quickly. Yeah, you see already? So, um, let me see. This kind of two different regions. Caribbean Islands. Uh, I'm pretty sure this counts as one region. Yeah, Caribbean Islands does. Man, that's a big force right there that I'm going to have to contend with. Um... I'm just thinking right now, I'm going to have to contend with that eventually, but it's not very nice to think of. Let's see, you guys count something else. Uh, what do you guys count under? St. Vincent, because what, like I said, what I'm trying to do is trying to think of regions that we could, you know, strike fear into the hearts of them and basically take over just because we... You know, just because we are affiliated with these regions. Hmm. Which is what we need to do. And apparently we're losing a ton of money off of different things. Probably because our subsidies are going down a little bit. But I think the next thing I'm going to add is the Caribbean Islands. Because if we can get the Caribbean Islands underneath our control. Just keep... My basic idea of this is that I'm adding as many war goals as I can to make the war score go up for us. Because right now the, Brit the Americans already did a lot. They already did a sane amount. So all we need to do is just strike fear into the hearts of them. Oh yeah, the Falcon Islands. You know, let's go take those back because now that we finally got a reason to, let's go take them back. Get on the ships. Let's go see. Well, actually, we should probably go kick out the rest of the British over here. But yeah, we could easily control Ghana because we have such a big gigantic control over this region. So that's not going to be an issue. And let's see. We could probably go take out the Falcon Islands, which would be really nice. Actually, do we have another? We have another army over here. You guys, go take out the Falcon Islands so that we can finally own it. I mean, it's a pretty big port, apparently. A lot of different things happen on here. Get the Falcon Islands. That means they have no lower control. Well, they still got this island over here, South Georgia. Never mind. They actually do have a good amount of ports right next to me. Wow. I didn't even realize this. Okay, but we're all going to start getting war score for this, which is what we need, so that it will actually, like, start adding to here, because apparently we're starting to lose. We lost a lot of battles because I sent my people to die in a very, very big way. Okay, we're going to go start destroying these little tiny islands. This is probably going to be an annoying sieges, because little tiny islands are very annoying. And apparently two steamer transports are trying to go fight against 23 steamer transports. This is not going to end well for you. If you try to actually attack me, you guys are going to die. Okay. And we're just going to... Oh, my goodness. And Ecuador is protecting me. Good job, Ecuador. Good job. Good job, little boy. Good job. Okay, America is still doing what it needs to do. And let's see. We have officially lost most of the battles now. Mostly because of our little guys over here in India because yeah India kinda messed us over in terms of battles yeah not gonna deny they weren't exactly the most smartest decision we could have done in terms of battling but yeah, I thought they would have done more honestly <laughs> so we're now gonna be thinking about what we can gain out of this we need to add more war score to us just so we can dang it we can't add more war score to us because it's already like, well, already too late. Well, then what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to occupy as much of the land as we can. Slowly start to turn this back. Are you guys at war with us? Because you guys should already be dead. I don't know why my other vassals haven't killed you. Also, you guys get inside the ports. We're going to occupy all this land over here. Okay. And let's see. In Africa, we probably lost most of our provinces, yes. That's why I mean, I kind of knew we were going to lose most of our provinces. Um, Scandinavia is, I think, winning against the uh, British threat. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so the British only have 28 ships left. That means that this is basically their full army, which is a great news for us, which means we basically don't have to think of the British as a naval power right now. Which really 
which means we basically just have to do now an island hopping tactic to just now take out everything that they have. Okay, let's get in this. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, we just need to do island hopping tactics now. Now that, now that we know these, this secret, we just need to do island hopping tactics. Get the naval bases, get whatever you guys need, get all the way down. Also, this is the end of the game, I really don't care. 71%, 71%, 71%. There we go. Yeah, my economy can take it. Okay, and we have our... Oh my goodness, we almost built it. We almost built it. Once I build those things, it's going to be awesome. Okay, let's see, we got these guys dead. Okay, go back over here. Go destroy the last little bits of the island over there. Right, yeah, we're gonna we're just basically kicking them. We're kicking them out of here first And then once we kick them out of here, we can start dealing with the rest of them But we first have to kick them out of here and They probably win a lot of our battles Wow We're losing because of that stupid Okay, note to self Don't ever invite the Indians They just may have lost this war in fact, India, please stop fighting. You guys have basically lost us a ton of resources, manpower, and a lot of other things. You guys have basically cost us a lot. You guys don't also reinforce your men either. We, like, like, like right there. Reinforce your men. Reinforce your men so that they can live and that maybe you guys can actually fight. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully... This might end in a white piece, which actually might be what we might have to actually get out of this war. Because of stupidity reasons, but... Hey, at least I brought the end to the war. It wasn't exactly the way we wanted it to be, but I brought the end of the war. Let's see. And I'm just... I'm just conquering all these little tiny islands. Making sure... We will ally with Germany? What? Huh? How did I get an ally alliance with Germany? We weren't exactly friends with the Germans like a couple seconds ago. And I definitely don't think I'm friends with the Germans right now. What the heck? How'd I get friends with the Germans? Okay, that's really weird. I don't understand that, but okay. I just somehow became friends with the Germans. That's... Huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's really something that happened in this game. But we are conquesting... Let's see. And then we have all those islands I have to go conquer. Yay! Go conquer all these islands! Guamla, Venment, Saint Vos, Bubbles. You're gonna call me into your war, and I'm gonna have to say no. Cause I ain't <laughs> I'm not fighting all these different nations. I'm not fighting Austria and I'm definitely not fighting them. No. Sorry, Germany. No. I'm not I don't even approve of you guys, so don't even think I would come in. Okay? Honestly, I don't even like you guys. <laughs> like, I, uh, put it bluntly, I don't like you guys at all. You guys are not my favorite country to visit right now. When it comes to, you know, embassies and stuff. Okay. Over here, though, we are losing badly. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna see if I have individual war score enough. They would not accept this off. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least the good part is that these guys are almost dead. I think... I think Mashor is almost dead. I really don't know. These guys kind of killed themselves. I, that, like right here, they could easily send us 82k to go defend themselves and go save themselves a lot of different turmoil. May be able to fight the British, but they aren't doing that, which is annoying me to no end. No, I'm not being called in by anyone else in this war. I have been allied like six times and that has ended up in tragedy. Okay. Let's see, we're going to be conquering all these little tiny islands over here too. Let's see. And the American war to dismantle the British Empire just became a great war because who the heck joined in? Who in the great powers list of almighty great powers joined in on their side? Let's figure this out, everyone. Somehow this has morphed into a great war. Who? Germany. Uh, well, actually, that's not a bad thing, because Germany right now is really hella weak. So, actually, they're not going to be able to fight us very well. So, actually, that's not, that's not bad. You know what? 
Okay, so now this just became a great war, and I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a really great episode where we just realized that the third great war has started in very much good old fashions. It's the fascist, the two fascist countries versus America, the Americas. We will see who wins in the next episode. So, see you guys then. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Le Plata where, as you guys know, we are having an exciting last little thrilling episode where we are at war with both the fascist British and the fascist Germans. Luckily the fascist Germans are being defeated right now. But, yeah, we are at war with both of them, which means we now have an ample cause to go to fight everything and just destroy everything. Basically what I'm saying is that we are going to be going to war severely. Because we need to start winning these battles and start winning this wars. Because now we're in a great war kind of mentality. And really, we wouldn't be losing the wars. And I honestly don't think this. We wouldn't be losing the wars if it wasn't for my little vassal over here. Which... It really needs to die. Like, it really needs to finish off the rest of its troops and don't come back. Because right now, it's all it's doing is costing us battles, which... We're going to have to win back eventually, but yeah. Anyways, we are now in a great war status, which means we're going to have to secure ourselves severely. Because I definitely don't want to lose this. Especially at this close to the end of the game, I definitely don't want to lose these great wars. Let's see, are we building our tanks yet? I thought our factories... Yes, okay, my tank factories are built. We can build tank factories. Okay, subsidize everything. But... Yes, this is... Oh, you gotta be shooting. Okay. You know, that just stunk because now we just lost, like... <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. People, because this is a great war, and because what this basically means is that... Is that if I lose this war, that means basically I can't go to war for the rest of the game. Basically, because I only have one more year and all that. And this would be the end of the series if that happened. And honestly, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna think about this for a second before I do anything rash. And I'll come back to you in a second when I thought about this. Because basically what this means is that if I was to continue this series, I can't really declare war anymore. Because now I'm in a great peace war. And really, we didn't lose the war. We lost it only because of my vassals over here who lost a hell of a lot of battles. If they didn't lose these battles, we probably would have won the bat. We probably would have won the war. So, this is going to uh, what I'm basically saying people is is that I'm thinking about rewinding this this time because this wasn't hmm, this wasn't really our fault. That's what I'm trying to say. This wasn't really our fault and it's not, I don't think it's going to be fair to you or me that we had to get another war where we basically got roped into it where we really, we really didn't lose it and we really didn't do anything. Plus, I believe it's going to be a much better finale if we like, I love, I think the fighting the British was a much better finale than I would have anticipated. But this, yeah, I think, I think I am going to rewind it. I'm sorry to all those people who really like me to continue and like, really like me to do this, but one, I didn't expect us to morph into a great war where it'd be war and dimitaries. And two, I didn't expect my Indi Indian vassals to be this bad at fighting. So, yeah, if these are the guys who lost us the war. And because of them, we basically have a ten year, five year truce where we basically can't declare war on anyone. And that basically ends our game effectively right here. So... Um, I don't, personally, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to end the game yet. So I'm going to rewind it to before I declared war. And we're going to enter the, we're going to enter it once the Americans call it in again. And I'll bring you guys in at that point. So I'll see you guys in a second. 